What's up YouTube welcome to our video in this video we'll learn how we can style our data grid view because it doesn't happen the simple way so we have to write some line of ex some extra line of code for it so let us create a windows form project and name the project data grid style and let us add our data grid view uncheck all of these now let's add some columns so come over here add columns and the first column would be the name so we will be adding some dummy data of students uh, to demonstrate our data get view style section grade and gender so these will be our four columns now we will double click the form and it it would take us to the form one load event we will leave it uh, blank for now and create a new method called void populate data grid view in this method we will add the uh, data to our data grid views uh, the dummy data so our data grid view style could be demonstrated data get view dot rows dot add name is tech v and section is b grade is 4 and gender is male so this would be the only female in the class now uh, this populate data would be called in the form load event and then our uh, actual event which is the void style data grid view and inside this I will gonna write data grid view dot borders border style equals to border style dot none so I'm keeping the border style as none you can uh, change that if you want to and the next thing is data grid view two thirty eight and two thirty nine and 249 so I'm choosing these colors uh, if you want to choose some other color you can always go to the HTML color picker so HTML color picker and pick the color you want from here it will show you the values of the RGB or you can also use this the quick HTML color picker so you can pick the color anywhere uh, from your desktop the next thing is the cell border style so the border style should be single horizontal and the default cell style and it should be white smoke the next thing would be the data get views background color now we also want that our data grid view raw headers would not be would not be resizable so disable resizing this is uh, perfectly optional so you can do it or not and now comes the most important thing which is the data grid view enable headers visual style equals to false this is absolutely necessary because if you won't do it the data grid view won't allow us to style the data grid view our way so it is an absolute necessity to make the default header style false now the things remain are font equals to new font and I am choosing the MS reference sans serif but you can uh, choose uh, any font you want and it should be its size just should be copy 10. this and paste it three times and I want the back color to be 37 37 and 38 four color should now be. let's check uh, our data grid view uh, but before that we have uh, we also have to uh, call this method in the form load event 
now let's check it out so this is our custom modern looking data grid view and i will show you that which property did what the first is border uh, the first is we turn the border style into none so there is no border and then we turn the alternative raw back color to uh, some argb so this is the this is the alternative color there is white and this is the alternative color then again white and then again the alternative color then what we have done is we have set the default selection back color to sea green so this is the selection color and then the four color so the four color is uh, what the text uh, color is so the text color is white when it is selected and the background color this is the background color and some more thing which are the border style of the column the uh, column header back and four color so th these are the back and four color of the columns of the data grid view So this is all for the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. See you next time.